I'm giving the house to Akina. Can you give it to me? What? Huh? Did you not hear what I said? I need to give the house to Akina, so I want you to give this house to me. What are you talking about? Well, Akina's having a baby, and she's getting married. You know she's living in an apartment now, right? A family of three can't keep living in a tiny place like that. Don't you know how cramped that apartment is? I see. That's why I need this house. You don't have kids anyway, so you don't really need this house. As a matter of fact, I do need it. This is my home. Seriously? Fine, how about this? She'll live in yours. What do you think? Absolutely not. You're always like this. Always so stubborn. You're the older sister, okay? Older sisters always take care of their younger siblings. Why can't you be more devoted to your little sister? That's what I've been doing all along. I've been putting up with so many things when it comes to Akina. But now you're asking for my house? I think you should go home. Hey, wait a minute. I haven't finished yet. <sighs> my name is Michika. I'm a 32-year-old neat, not in education, employment, or training. It's been a while since my mother came to my house. I can't believe the only reason she came was to ask me to give my house away. For as long as I can remember, my little sister Akina has always been my mother's favorite. She was the priority and the center of my mother's attention. And the reason for the differential treatment was ridiculous. My mother thinks Akina looks like her, and I look like my father who died of illness when I was little, so my mother never liked me. Come to think of it, I had a terrible life growing up because of my mother's favoritism. When I was in high school... Mom! I really want to go to this university. A university? What are you talking about? You can't go to university. What? We're a single parent family. We don't have that kind of money. But what about the money Dad left? He left enough money for Akina and me to attend university. Both of us should have a college fund. Oh, that money. Yes, can I use it for university? That's not gonna happen. You can't touch that money. Why can't I? It's all for Akina. What? You're smart and get good grades. I'm sure you can figure something out. But Akina's different. She's like me. She has a cute face and all, but she's not that smart. That's why I need to give her as much money as possible. Yeah, Mom. My sister is smart, so she can take care of herself. Anyways, Mom, can I buy this new designer bag? Of course, you can have whatever you want. Hey, Michika, don't say that you want something too, okay? Get a job and make some money. Then you can buy it yourself. Wait, what? You have the money to buy her a bag, but you can't pay my tuition? You're the big sister, remember? You should behave like an older sister. I always hated it when my mother said this to me. You should behave like an older sister. It means that I had to accept the unfairness and always put my sister before myself. Later, Akina got into university, and she also went to vocational school. But I didn't get to do any of that. I had to get a job right after finishing high school. That's how things have always been for me. Now they're after my house? What is this? I'll never give my house to them. The window shattered! A baseball? I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. You guys did this? Yeah, we were in the empty lot outside, playing catch. This mountain gorilla can't control her throw, so... I told her to take it easy, but she just can't do it. What did you say? Ow, let go! I'm so sorry, I'll pay for the broken window. It's fine, don't worry about it. I always thought this was an empty house, though. Hey, Miyako! Don't be rude! It's okay. It must look like a rundown house from the outside. This house belonged to my parent-in-law. But my husband and parents-in-law, they passed away in a car accident two years ago, so I inherited this house. After the accident, I became a neat and rarely went out. The house is old and has problems here and there, but it's full of mere memories. So I started living here, alone. I try to make ends meet with the inheritance I got from my late husband. It's not much, but I get by. Now I'm living every day as if I were dead. After I told my life story to the two girls, they said, Oh, I'm sorry. It's such a big house. Don't you feel lonely living by yourself? Yeah, I do get lonely sometimes. I pretty much cry myself to sleep at night, to be honest. I see. Oh, we might be able to help. What? Let's play catch together.
It's gonna be fun! Why play catch? If you start moving more every day, you'll probably sleep better at night and probably forget to cry. Healthy body, healthy mind. All right, let's go. Oh, um, really? I was dragged outside before I could say no, and I played catch with them. It's been a while since I was outside. Actually, I hadn't done anything like that since my husband passed away. How do you like it? It's been a long time since I played catch. It was surprisingly fun. I know, right? Now let's go for a run along the river. What? If you want to be good at playing catch, you need to have a strong lower body. Which means it's essential to work on your lower body. Don't worry. You'll enjoy playing catch more after the three months of training. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, Miyako. We're playing catch for fun. Right? If it's for fun, then why do we have to... You're right, it's for fun. But if you can commit to playing properly and have the most fun, then you can also commit to living the best life possible. Playing catch is like life. Wow, sounds so deep. But can we not be so extreme? Follow your dream and life will be bright. All right, let's move, guys. Wait, what? Are we really going? Then I had no choice but to run along the river with them. The next day... Ugh, my muscles are sore. Hmm? Did someone ring my doorbell? It can't be. Yo! What do you mean, yo? We shouldn't have come unannounced. I thought you might have sore muscles, so I'm here to make you some food. It can help with the sore muscles. Really? Can food really help with sore muscles? Can I use your kitchen? Uh, oh, okay. Miyako started cooking. She made a fantastic lunch for the three of us. Thank you. I don't mean to brag, but I think I made it pretty good. Yum, it's so delicious. I want more. Control your power, Mount. <clears throat> Never mind. What were you going to say? I was going to say that you have the strength of a mountain gorilla. Underneath your girly appearance, Nagisa. Wow. Thanks, Miyako. I have a girly appearance. Yay. I'd like to hear more compliments like that. It feels so good to be told to have a girly appearance. Thank goodness she didn't get mad. That was close. The food is really good. Hmm? What? What's wrong? Are you crying? This is weird. Maybe it's because the food is too delicious. It makes me want to cry. Oh. What? It wasn't just because of the food. It was suddenly reminding me of times I used to sit at the table, eating and laughing with my husband and my in-laws. Those are the happiest memories. Thanks for the food. It was perfect. All right. Time to go. You're leaving now? I guess they're leaving. After they leave, the house will become empty and lonely again. Huh? What are you talking about? We're going to the riverbank. What? We're going to practice sprints and then play catch after. Uh-huh. That's why you came here? Yeah, why did you think I came here? Come on, let's move. So we ran along the river for two days straight. And we played catch after that. Hmm, I don't know how I should feel about this. But we did that for about a week. Are they here again? Coming! Oi, excuse me, but are you the owner of the house? Y yes who are you? I'm from Sakato Constructions. Sakato Constructions? What does a construction company want with me? Well, here's the thing. What? Let's go find Michika. She's gonna find us annoying if we keep going like this. We go to her house every day. It's all good. She's getting a lot better at playing catch now. That's not the point. Do you still remember why we did this? How did everything start in the first place? What? I forgot. See, I knew it. Oh, right, I remember now. She looked lonely the first time we met her. So we played catch to help her cheer up. Right? That should be enough. Playing catch every day is way too much. Let's do something else. You have a point. How about we go to the batting cage today? Stop, stop. Can we take a break from baseball? Michika, come play baseball with us. Hey, why are you doing an anime character voice? Oh, hi, Miyako. Nagisa. Sorry, I can't go today. See? I told you. She had enough of baseball. I don't think that's the reason. Huh? Did something happen? It's strange that Michika doesn't want to play catch today. Something must have happened. How do you know that? I can't do it anymore. What? Did something really happen? 
Michika! This was so embarrassing. I cried like a baby in front of two girls who were much younger than me. Then I invited them in and told them everything. They listened carefully. I started to feel a little better and I was finally able to think differently. A month later, I got a phone call and it was from my mother. Hello? Hi, Michika. I need you to move out of the house tomorrow. Why? What do you mean, why? Didn't we talk about this? I asked you to give your sister the house. Huh? Can you stop playing dumb? I gave you plenty of time. You're ready to move, aren't you? No, I never agreed to give you the house. Huh? But you're the older sister. I told you to give up the house. Anyways, it's already decided. How can you make us change our plans now? Excuse me? Akina has terminated the lease on her apartment. Her things are packed and she's ready to move. I was kicked out of the house too. I put my house as collateral for loans and the loan shark has taken it. Akina and I have to move into your house tomorrow, so make sure to leave the house by tomorrow, okay? I can't. I've told you, you don't have a choice. The movers are here already, everything's packed. They're loading the furniture into the moving truck now. Do you know how expensive it is to move? They're hard to book too. But I can't. Why? I've already moved out of that house. The house is gone now. It's gone? What have you done? They discovered the house had serious defects. It wasn't safe to live anymore in it. So they had to tear it down. It can't be. That same day, someone from the construction company came to see me. He told me he had discovered serious defects in the house structure. Of course, the company compensated me for the house, so I moved into an apartment with that money. But I was devastated. I couldn't believe it when the construction company told me that they had to tear down the house. The time has come to say goodbye to this house. This house is filled with memories of my husband and in-laws. I can't believe they have to tear it down. And I can't do anything. The house is the only thing for me to remember them by. It's my home. I should just die with this house. Yeah, I should. Hey, what are you talking about? Michika, you can't do that. But I don't have a home anymore. There's no place for me in this world. When all the memories are gone too, I'll lose my strength to live too. The house might be gone, but not the memories. The people you miss will always be there, as long as you remember them. But if you disappear, then the memories of them will disappear with you. Is that what you want? Yeah, I don't think you want that now, right? Michika? I'm sure your husband and your in-laws, they would want you to live your life and move on. Besides, there is a place for you in this world. There is? Aren't we friends, Michika? Yeah, we're here for you no matter what happens. Miyako, Nagisa. When I had lost all hope, it was Miyako and Nagisa who came to comfort me. Thanks to them, I was able to overcome my despair. What are we going to do now? Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? Where are we supposed to live now? I don't know and I don't care. I took out too many loans and I'm deep in debt. I can't borrow any money now. I can't even rent a place. How long do I have to store my furniture in the storage? I won't be able to afford the storage fee soon. Can I hang up now? I'm saying goodbye to my house. Wait, don't hang up. I haven't finished yet. Goodbye forever. Wait! The moment I hung up the phone, I also cut ties with my mother forever. Later, I heard rumors about what happened to the three of them. Are you sure it's here? Uh, Mr. Hoji? Yeah! I heard they don't have a place to live. Um, where should I put the fridge? <laughs> uh, put it in the kitchen, please. Kitchen? What? Can't you see the kitchen? It's right there on your left. Oh, okay. Mr. Hoji, is she for real? Where's the kitchen? Just put it down. Do what she says. Oh, the TV goes in the living room. Yes, ma'am. And the sofa goes. Here should be good. <laughs> Lovely. I like the decor here. Oh, Mum, let's decorate with some flowers. <laughs> and the crib goes here. Do you like it here? Haruka? Haruka? Your grandma's asking you a question. What did you think? All right, it's decided then. Is that a doll? That's a doll, right, Mr. Hoji? Yeah, it is. You're not crazy. Even I can tell something's wrong with them. They're both a little cuckoo. Yeah, totally. We might have scared them when collecting debt from them. Then they became like this. Oh well, I did some digging. And I found they are both pretty bad people. 
I see. <laughs> My mother and sister had to work to repay their debts. Day and night, they worked around the clock, but they ended up becoming homeless. Seems like they also became mentally ill. They think they're living in the new house. On top of that, I heard my sister didn't have the baby in the end. She also kept quiet about her debt. Her husband divorced her immediately after finding out about the debt. My sister couldn't handle the stress. She's now mentally deranged. Well, she got what she deserved. As for me, I'm back at my old job. I finally stopped being a neat. Hey, Miyako, Nagisa, let's play catch like old times. I'd love to, but... Oh my god, what happened to your leg, Miyako? Care to guess? Is it because of Nagisa? Yep, the mountain gorilla broke my leg. I asked her to help me stretch, but she had no idea how much force a human body can take. She's like a genius of destruction. Hey, didn't I apologize to you? I'm so sorry that this happened. You know me, I can be a little clumsy sometimes. I doubt that's a valid excuse. I really don't think so. Let's do something else today, then. Do you guys want to come to my new apartment? We can have a tea party. Wow, nice. I've always wanted to do that. Girls love tea parties. Girls don't just play catch all the time. You better have some iron teacups at home. Or maybe stoneware. What? I only have normal cups. Hey, I won't break any cups anymore, okay? How many have you broken? Well... I can count the number with all my fingers and toes, so it's not that bad. Maybe I should buy some sturdy cups on the way home. I can't thank Miyako and Nagisa enough. If I hadn't met them, I might have stayed at home forever. I would have probably disappeared with the house, too. I know I would have done that. Now I just want to have tea and play catch with them. I wish to spend more time with my best friends. Honey, father-in-law, mother-in-law, I'm very happy now. It's time for me to go to heaven. I want to play catch with you all. <laughs>